Modi government is very consistent in its stand on COVID. Don't get surprised, it's a fact. Our PM along with his cabinet have been wishing away the COVID pandemic for 17 months now. They completely ignored the timely early warning by Sri Rahul Gandhi way back in February 2020. Because their pre-planned PR activity, Namaste Trump, was critical for them. After constant denial of any health emergency, the PM suddenly announced the countrywide lockdown to the peril of lakhs of migrant workers. During the lockdown, instead of preparing the health infrastructure for the pandemic, the PM resorted to gimmicks like Tali, Thali and Diya. Once again, Sri Rahul Gandhi, in no uncertain terms, warned of the coming catastrophe. But the power-hooked Modi government chose to look away. While the Modi government should have been preparing to implement the recommendations of various expert committees on the upcoming second wave of Corona, constituted by itself, it chose to declare premature victory over COVID on international platforms. Rather than formulating a hassle-free COVID vaccination strategy for the country, the Modi government was busy conspiring against the farmers of the country just to favour its crony capitalist friends. Instead of spending the PM Cares Fund judiciously to thwart the upcoming second wave, Modi government was busy 24-7 in trying to win the assembly elections by hook and crook, even at the cost of millions of Indians. When the second wave hit, our government was awakened only virtually by the whole country mourning their dear ones lost to COVID due to lack of hospital beds, oxygen and medication. As a responsible opposition, the Congress party not only offered its cooperation, but also gave the PM the necessary advice. But the Modi government did not pay heed to not only Congress party, but also to courts across the country. The situation has become so grim and pathetic that the largest manufacturer of vaccines in the world is vaccine-starved itself. The gross criminal mismanagement of COVID pandemic by the Modi government has been criticized at most prominent international forums. Prestigious medical journal Lancet has predicted 1 million deaths in India by August and it has squarely blamed Modi mishandling for the tragedy.